permutation is an arrangement in a definite order of a number of objects taken some or all at a time. So uh, let's uh, try to understand the concepts we have learned till now uh, and specifically the uh, principle of fundamental uh, fundamental principle of counting through this example. So in this example uh, what we are trying is to form a four letter word using the words of the word factor that is we'll use only the letters f a c t o and r and try to make a four letter word so in that we we may have two cases the first one is that in which repetition is allowed that is we can individually choose the letters from the set of uh, f a c t o r without exhausting anyone like if we choose f for the first letter then we can still choose the f for the second that is we could have a word which is like f f f so uh, let's try to work out what are the possible uh, possible permutations for that so we make four compartments in a box representing each letter of the word so the first particular compartment can be filled in so the first particular compartment can be filled in six different ways the second compartment can be filled in six different ways as you can see it contains uh, it can the word the letter can be chosen from any of these particular letters that is f a c t o r the third place can also be fixed uh, chosen from six different letters and the fourth place can simultaneously also be chosen from six different letters so we have basically six into six into six into six number of combinations when repetition is allowed to form a four letter word from this particular slot second is when no repetition is allowed in this particular exam in this particular part we use the fundamental principle of counting so let's uh, see how to use it so let's make a uh, four compartments representing the letters of the word to be formed so the first particular compartment can be filled in six different ways as we can choose f a c t o r any of these letters so let's say if we choose the letter as f so let's see if uh, uh, after we have chosen f we have left we are since no repetition is allowed we cannot choose f again so we are left with only five more choices so basically we could fill the next box next compartment with only five more choices so let's say we choose a for the next box so we'll uh, now we cannot choose f and a so we are left again with a lesser choice that is 4 and similarly if we uh, choose go go through this we we'll, we are left with only three choices for the last one so we basically get the number of permutations is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 which is equal to 6 factorial upon 2 factorial so um I have involved this picture intentionally to show that the uh, general lock which we uh, have in our suitcases is uh, also uses the uh, principle of fundamental counting and you can work out the different types of permutations which are possible. So uh, let's try to work out in uh, the lock we have three particular numbers and each of these numbers can be re repeatedly filled from 0 to 9 so basically we have 10 choices for the first uh, first number 10 choices for the next and similarly 10 choices for the last one so we have basically 10 cube number of choices to be uh, which can form so basically there are 10 cube number of permutations for the key lock some of the letters of the word we are choosing from may be repeated that is we have a root in which uh, we have double o's so uh, from uh, intuitive guess you might have uh, got a hint that the number of combinations of this particular word uh, let's say we make a four letter permutations would be lesser than what the uh, word with uh, all the letters different would have because there will be repetitions let's say if we mark the first one, first o as one and the second as two then this word is similar to if we write this okay and this will always be lessened by a factor of 2 that is a uh, pair and they'll occur in pair let's say if we write a combination as this one 
we could have another combination which is similar to it and will represent the same spelling that is this so uh, if you work out various cases of this uh, let's let's work out uh, i i um, i mm, urge you to uh, please write it down because uh, you'll develop a feeling of what actu we are actually doing so please write down all the combinations which you can uh, think of so i'm writing out here we could have uh, the combination as this i'm only writing the first one you could similarly work out the second one we could have r O one R T O two. We could have this. We could have um, R T sorry R O two T O one R T O two R T O one T O two R Similarly, we can work out uh, the next one as um, from taking the clue here. Uh, we are left with T R O one O two. Then we could have T O one R O two. We could have T O one O two R O one O two T R. You could work out its pair by simply interchanging the O1 and O2. So, as you can see, we have 12 different combinations here, and uh, similarly, they are similar to uh, their counterpart by just replacing O1 and O2. So, we had total combinations of uh, total different combination as 12, and the total combinations, if we assume O1 and O2 to be different, were equal to 4 factorial. Which can which you could simply work out from the previous example. So the total combination which come out in this case is equal to four factorial upon two factorial. That is to say, like if we had a choice between four letters and two of them are same, so we obtain the formula as four factorial upon two factorial, and not four factorial. So uh, the formula. Here comes out to be uh, if we have n different letters to be chosen from which p letters are same, p letters are same, then the total number of combinations will be n factorial upon p factorial. And similarly, uh, let's look into another case in which uh, we have more repetitions. That is, the total number of words are 4, uh, 4 plus 4 say, uh, equals to 9, in which we have 4 A's, 2 L's. Okay, so here if you simply work out uh, and write down all the combinations, you would see then the answer would come out to be 9 factorial upon 4 factorial 2 factorial which can easily be seen let's say if we mark these a's as a1 a2 a3 a4 this l1 as uh, this l's are l1 l2 then if you uh, make different combinations then there will be let's say if we say uh, that a1 a2 a3 a4 are different we will have different. Uh, we'll have a pair of letters which will be formed from L1 and L2 only. Okay, so we'll have the uh, numbers. Uh, if we assume even uh, all the A's to be different, will be n fact nine factorial upon two factorial. And in each of these combinations, we'll have four same words because the uh, because uh, we have assumed that a1 a2 a3 a4 are all different which is not the case so we'll have four letters corresponding to uh sorry four uh, not the four not four words we'll have four factorial words corresponding to each pair which are same so we'll have answer as 9 factorial upon 4 factorial 2 factorial 
Similarly, if we have more number of repetitions, then the answer would simply come out to be n factorial, that is total number of words to be chosen from upon the total number of words of first kind which are same into total number of words of the second kind which are same total number of the third kind which are same dash 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 to the last one which are same that is pk factorial.